What's up guys, we're back here in Valheim and I want to show you guys today how to get your very own pack of wolves to defend your base. These things are breeding automatically and just walking around the entire village that I have just eating everything from necks to boars to skeletons to grey dwarfs. It's freaking awesome and you need this for base defense. If your settlement is anything like mine and is completely getting or constantly getting attacked. So we're going to need to go into the mountains where wolves actually spawn. Hopefully you guys are able to get into the mountains yet. Uh, if you're not able to, uh, make sure you work towards getting like a wolf cape or a lox cape or the wolf silver armor or even some frost mead if you're just going into the mountains for the first time. But it's going to take a while to tame these wolves, so I would recommend not doing this. If you're just now getting into the mountain stage, I would definitely not waste that much uh, mead because this taming process took me about 45 minutes to completely tame uh, these two wolves. So you're gonna need to bring some raw meat with you. And I split my raw meat into like stacks of five or so to drop, that way I can drop in like different places because as the wolf is taming, it's gonna be walking around and you wanna make sure that no matter where it's wandering, it's always in range of some food to eat because it takes maybe about, I'd say two to four bites during the taming process until it's 100% tamed and uh, so yeah I mean I got lucky here where the wolves were actually like in kind of like a small area they couldn't really roam out of because of all the surrounding rocks so yeah I got lucky here but uh, you just want to spread it out so I'm gonna take this meat and kind of spread it out after I get after I figure out a good spot to uh, to go about this from it's kind of hard to even see the wolf with this blizzard but it's right over there against the rock i can still kind of see where the wolf is so actually yeah i don't see it at all where'd it go oh it's over by the tree okay yep hello all right i'm just gonna spread the meat out real quick and go for a run honestly that's kind of a lot of meat to be in one spot could have spread that out a little bit better i might have to might have to work on that i'm gonna see if this thing can actually follow me okay yeah these things are really good about climbing mountain Ten, or nine times out of ten, if you can scale the mountain, there's a good chance that the wolf can too. But here's a rock right. Oh, there's two wolves. Okay, there's there's a rock right here. I'm gonna try to jump on. This thing's killing me, man. I've got a medium uh, healing potion here. Let's see if I can't escape these wolves' grasp. <laughs> They're just chasing me down, dude. <laughs> ah! Stop chasing me. I'm out of stamina. I can't even block. They're about to kill me. They're about to eat me. Dude, wolves are really no joke, man. So watch your stamina if you're out here taming a wolf. Or two wolves. Tameness. So that one's already taming at 1%. Oh, I'm 23 health. I don't even know if I can get hit once. just blocking I'm just blocking if you guys want to know how to make the shield that I have right now I actually just made a video about that that was my most recent video oh man this is the serpent uh, scale shield so it's kind of uh, tricky to get the serpent scales from the serpent so if you guys don't know how to harpoon the serpent and uh, farm those things feel free to check that video out it's the most recent one I uploaded okay so it doesn't look like they can actually jump up here on this rock so I need to find a way, I need to figure out how to stay up here and like have this aerial view and still be hidden because we need to stay hidden throughout this process. We don't necessarily need to stay and render the wolf or near it, but I'm going to anyway because, uh, well, we're taming it and I'd like to keep eyes on it. I want to make sure it's not like roaming, roaming away from here, but I do need to get food. If they're going to be chilling out right here at the peak of this thing, I need to go back down there and grab some food and bring it back up here and throw down. So maybe they'll eat while they're trying to kill me. I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna de-aggro from me. I think they're pretty pissed off at me right now. So yeah, every situation is gonna be unique, obviously, guys, but uh, just make sure you bring a couple. I would, I would bring at least like two or three stacks of food just to make things easier. You'll be able to cover a larger area by spreading the food out more. I'm gonna keep one stack down there. I'm gonna come back up here and throw these though. Kind of maybe on both sides of this little hill. 
This little rock. There you go. Anybody hungry? I think, I wonder if they actually have to be unfrightened, like not frightened to eat. I wonder if their taming even goes up, if their taming percentage even goes up at all uh, while they're frightened. Even after they ate. So I'm going to actually mine myself into here because I don't think these guys... If they have clear sight of you, they can. They're definitely not gonna like diagro. So I'm gonna try to make myself a little uh, hole up here to hide in. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Every every uh, scenario is gonna be completely unique. So just make sure you're up. Like this is honestly the perfect spot because I can see from an aerial view what's going on, where the wolves are, and they can't see me. So uh, this was actually kind of a perfect setup here. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll go for that meat. That wolf actually ran over there. Let's see. Maybe this. Come on, come on. I know you. I know you can do it. I know you're hungry, dude. Actually, that wolf already ate. I think. Did that wolf eat already? I don't know. I don't think that wolf ate. Oh, I think it's going for the meat right now. Let's see. Oh, I fell. Ah, uh, I want to see it eat. I want. Where's the? I want to see the wolf eat. Dang it. Oh, I jumped out too far and scared it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it ate though. I mean, I saw it walk into the meat. So, I'm just going to chill out here. Let time pass. See what's going on here. Okay, this is where we're ways in. Let's see if... Uh, I'm kind of wondering what the uh, percentage is here. We're about 20 minutes in. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to look at the wolf, see what the... T okay, so it's 53% tamed. And it's frightened, obviously. I don't know where the other wolf is. It should be down in the little crevice where I first saw it. I don't know if it's eaten yet, though. I haven't really been keeping an eye on it. This wolf right here is my baby. I'm going to baby this wolf. Make sure this wolf gets tamed. Oh, no. What's it doing? It's running back behind me. So that's the only thing about checking the taming percentage is that you frighten it and it has a chance to run somewhere else and screw the whole project up. Uh, especially up here in the mountains where there's a lot of like really tough enemies that can one shot the wolf and so yeah just try not to check the taming percentage too terribly much obviously you're going to want to know like how much longer you have to sit here and wait after sitting here and waiting for like 20 minutes but it's worth it to just uh, be as patient as possible and check it as least as you can so we're 40 minutes in i think the wolf is finally tamed because it's sitting over here on the side of this rock i don't know if you guys can see it but it's just chilling out it's not being mean so i think it's i think it's ours i'm about to check Super, yeah, it says tame and happy, so you can you can uh, click E on it to make it follow you, and it should follow you. But I'm afraid this wolf has slight retardation and is stuck on the side of this rock. So yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe I'll push it off the mountain and see if it uh, see if it survives. <laughs> I don't know how to get my wolf. <laughs> Come on, wolf! You're not a freaking mountain goat, dude. Oh, I almost pushed it. Now I'm sliding. All right. Okay. Uh, I think if I go back up there, I can probably, I can probably free it by just jumping on it again and trying to like push it out. I don't know. This is gonna be tricky. I'm trying not to slide off this mountain and die. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. Let's see. All right. Well. I got the wolf unstuck, but uh, we turned the corner and a drake annihilated my wolf in one hit. <laughs> the wolf, the drake had one shot left in it, man, and and I went to shoot my boat, my arrow, and the arrow was flying towards it as the drake was breathing like ice balls, and the ice balls like passed the arrow, <laughs> both going different ways. And the arrow hit the drake and the ice balls hit my wolf at the same time. Both died. So, I don't have that wolf. But, uh, luckily, my buddy Power was breeding wolves over in his place. And I'm just kind of strolling through my village here that I built. Showing you guys that these wolves will walk and, like, defend the entire area. Like, they, they're they literally on patrol. So, um, I started with, let's see, I started with six wolves. Five or six wolves here. And they were in my pen. Uh, my little wooden pin over by my house. Say, see, I think it's about to go for this neck. I think I see a neck over here. 
you can see as I walk around, there's like tons of loot just on the ground, like meat, heads, stuff like that, that the wolves kill that uh, nobody really picks up. So it's a good meat farm. It's a good uh, like common common drop farm from the common uh, mobs and stuff like that. But like I was saying, I started with five or six of these in my little wooden pen over by my house. And uh, I was walking by noticing a lot of damage. And I looked and like all the wolves were breaking the pen to get out to kill a deer that was running by. So they will actually break their way out of like wooden cages and stuff like that. So here in a minute I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take you guys to Power's house, the, uh, the professional wolf tamer. And show you guys how he has his house set up so that if this isn't working out for you. Because like after I broke out, after they broke out, I just left them because they're still mating with each other. You just need to throw food at them every now and then, some raw food, and like let them eat. I just throw a stack in their little pen and they usually eat. Or if I see like a cluster of them out and about somewhere, I'll run and throw like a stack of meat down. And they'll all go chow down and be happy. And once they're happy, they seem to mate with each other or other wolves that are in the vicinity. So uh, luckily, they're doing all that stuff automatically for me. So they're just like popping out babies. I don't think any of the wolves have even died. If the wolves have died, um, or in, if any wolves have died, they're definitely being uh, produced faster than they're being killed. So I haven't noticed any, any, what is this? Is that deer hide? Yeah, yeah, they killed a deer over here. But yeah, I don't know how many I have. Maybe like, I probably have close to like, I don't even know, maybe 12 to 15. I've definitely at least at the very least doubled uh, the amount of wolves that I started with here. So that's pretty sweet. Honestly, like life here in the settlement with wolves compared to without wolves is so much better. Literally, I'd be walking through here from house to house like I am right now. And everywhere you see a wolf, there would be like a skeleton or a gray door for something like that. And that stuff gets so annoying. Like I have all these walls up. I built an entire stone wall encasing the entire village um away from the coast like on the side that's not on the coast and still stuff just spawns in here so yeah i think wolves are probably the best form of uh base defense i'm not sure yet i doubt you can take it through a portal i'm not sure if you can do that or not uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and doubt that until somebody proves me wrong but if you can teleport wolves that'd be sweet because you can just like teleport them off the mountain into your base luckily i decided to make my settlement on an island that actually has a mountain so i could just walk the wolves from the mountain to my base but uh for you guys that don't have mountains on your bases sorry you're not going to be able to have wolves probably unless you maybe fit them on a longboat i don't know that's actually worth testing if you guys know the answer to that question i'd love to know can you fit uh wolves or any tame for that matter on uh, any of the boats probably the long boats your best chance but I'm wondering if they'll actually follow you and get on the boat and if they do if they'll actually stay on the boat for the whole ride instead of like glitching off and stuff like that but yeah anyway you can see here there's like what is this one two three four five six seven eight there's eight wolves just right here in this area and this is where they seem to be mating you can see oh they they just met right there so I threw some food in they got happy after they ate and uh, it looks like they just mated I don't know I guess maybe one will pop a baby wolf out can you pop out a cub for me? I'm just going to chill here and see if uh, any cubs decide to be born today. Oh, I saw hearts and then a baby pooped out. They pooped a baby. There's a baby cub. A baby wolf. A wolf cub. It's really small. I wonder if they grow like in stages or if they like slowly grow over time. Awesome. We got our first baby. Well, it's not our first baby cub, but it's the first baby cub I caught on recording. So that's cool. It just gets out and walks away. <laughs> it's like fully functional at birth. I don't know if the cubs actually, I doubt the cubs actually like fight stuff though. So you have to take care of the cubs until they're fully grown, but it doesn't take very long. I haven't seen very many cubs wandering around, so it seems like they mature fairly quick. This was actually my so let's see. I've had the cub, I've had the wolves for less than one day, and uh, we we already have 
this many wolves so yeah in one day it's multiplied from six to anywhere between like 12 to 15 so that's the uh that's the production expectancy you guys can can expect can expectedly expect so this is powers house this is the guy who actually uh, bred our first wolves and got like wolf taming going in the first place so i want to show you guys how he has his setup because like i was saying how the wolves can break out of wood uh, he actually took precautions for that and built a layer of stone around like the wall and the lower wall area so they can't break that and they're not going to jump up on the stone to break the wood above that and as doors you have to have the iron gates that you unlock from uh i think it's you unlock that somewhere in the swamp maybe maybe you unlock iron gates from holding iron i guess but uh yeah that's earlier on if you guys want to know how to unlock iron and stuff like that feel free to go check those videos out but hopefully you guys got what you were looking for in this video i'm pretty sure i covered everything there was to know about uh, wolf taming and breeding and uh i'll catch you guys in the next video